everyone and welcome to the mini toy love channel and today I'm gonna be unboxing some fashion packs as well as this gorgeous doll from the Kuku Harajuku series um, it came out a couple years back I want to say and I've been keeping them in the package and now it's time to, to open them up and I have the large doll of G who she always has such a cute Alice in Wonderland vibe going on. I love it. And then I have all the fashion packs. I believe there were five different ones total. And they're super cute because they come with an adorable accessory, the little deco pieces, the shoes, the outfit, and usually a hair accessory where you can put the deco pieces. So awesome stuff. Um, this was a really cool, very kawaii line. And um, I can't wait to see what they look like out of the package. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's a look at the box of G and then it comes, the larger dolls came with a hair accessory that you could wear and also put the deco pieces on. And then here is a look at the back. And then those were the other dolls. So I believe five in the collection and five fashion packs as well. And it looks like these came out 2016 is the Mattel licensing date. So here's a look at G out of the package. She is such a cutie. So here's one of the accessories. You get a little bow um, and you can fit a ton of deco pieces. So I put the little strawberry in the middle and you can wear this in your hair, which is really cute because it matches her, her bow and style. And it, wow, she's just so pretty. And I like how the shoes are really thick, which helps them stand. They don't come with separate uh, bases, but that's okay. She has little <laughs> lips designs on her shoes, as well as two spots for deco pieces. So she has this little panda bear one, and then a heart and a microphone. The black and white stockings are attached to the white leggings as well. But that's really cool. And then she has such a cute dress. So it's sort of like a blue jumper with a gray blazer. I like the cuff sleeves and the collar. And then this part is sort of a twill piece that goes over the blue. Um, you have a sewn on black bow. I like the little lining. There's some more on the bottom. It's just a cute little layered skirt and nicely done overall too. I didn't cut off the other piece. And then she also has this um, top part. It's sort of a, a strapless dress and then the plastic bow that's sewn on there as well. They do bend at the knees as well as the wrists um, and the elbows. Well, the elbows kind of have a joint. They go, they bend up. You just have to position it to where the, the joint lines up correctly, but still a lot of good posability. And then a closer look at her face. I really like the sculpting on it. It's sort of a round face, small nose, little puckered lips, and then the large eyes. They have a sort of glitter eyeshadow going on up top, little hearts reflected in the eyes. And then this part, front part of her hair has some glitter tinsel in it. Um, the headbands are sewn like in, so you will have to cut that off and we're going to need to do that to switch them out. And then she has the adorable little side buns, <laughs> which is really cute. And I'm definitely going to leave her hair in that style because I just think it completes the look. And there's one piece, um, deco bit piece for the bow. And I put the little music note, which if you can see has a little smiley face. But I definitely like the art style. That's what drew me to these dolls. And then this doll in particular, again, has a kawaii Alice in Wonderland feel to her. So she's adorable, but we also have five other outfits we need to change her into. Our first fashion pack is the Rainbow Unicorn. And I just love the handbag. How precious is that? Um, you get the four deco pieces. And then here's a look at, again, the other four in the series. You can also use that as a little backpack charm for your own bag. And here's the unicorn look, which is super cute and adorable. Again, very well themed. However, the clothes is really hard to get on, um, especially the smaller pieces. I thought I could pop their hands off, but it looks like they're, they're grooved. So I cannot remove their hands to get them dressed, which was a struggle, but I, I got it on. How cute is the bag? It also has two places for the deco piece. The skirt has a little ruffle, ruffle layer with polka dots and then the rainbow collar. You have separate little bangle bracelets and then look at how fun the shoes are. Um, at first I thought they were boots, but they're socks that go with the little unicorn faced boots. And then the 
headband is also adorable. It has a bunch of spots, but those are the deco pieces it came with. And it stays on her head really well. Just the only thing is the struggle to get them dressed and to kind of, you know, move the headband around a bit. I can see some of her bun coming out, which that concerns me just because it's rolled so tight. I'm not sure I could ever like replicate the hairstyle as perfect as it was out of the box. But still, it's adorable and I absolutely love the, the overall look of this outfit. Next up is the sushi fashion pack. How adorable is that? The little fake food items, the charms. Oh, that's, that's G. <laughs> Here's her sushi outfit look, which is so adorable. So we gotta start with the little purse handbag she's holding, which is a piece of shrimp sushi with wasabi up top. It's also a little hair clip for, for you to wear. Um, then her dress is a strapless dress that has like the green, which almost resembles the seaweed, the rice. Um, this looks like roe, um, like caviar. That That's pretty cool. And then the socks also look like the shrimp pattern. And then the shoes can fit two deco pieces. And then her headband is a little sushi plate with this little smiling onigiri. Look how cute. And then another shrimp sushi. This can fit a deco piece as well. And then you have spots for some along the side. So that is a really fun and cutely themed outfit. The third fashion pack is the Super Strawberry Fashion Pack. And look at that adorable cake. I love how they just have like the fake food with faces. Oh my goodness, there's a cake on the headband. Here's her full look in the strawberry cake design. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. It's a little bit hard to stand because the headband's a little bit heavier as well as the purse. So here's the little handbag, which can also be a hair clip. Love, love the face. And then she comes with these cute little strawberry glasses, which can hold a ton of little deco pieces. I put the little ice cream up there. And then the headband also has a smiley cake vase, little strawberry deco piece there and cherries. So that's really cute. And then the dress is also just so adorable. You have this these little lace puffy sleeves as well as the little uh, ribbon detailing there. Strawberry in the center, a little bow, cute strawberry print overall, and then more of the little lace at the bottom. So, so kawaii on that one. And then the shoes are really cute too. There are these little high heeled boots, little mini boots with the bows. The fourth fashion pack um, is, it looks very magical girl-like with those wings. It's called the Pink Cupcake Fashion Pack. Here's her overall look. She has a little trouble standing because again, the Panda Cupcake is a bit heavy. So this is the same purse design that can also be a hair clip, has a ton of deco pieces. And I know they have a bunch of um, separate packs of deco pieces that I've opened on my channel before too, because there's a lot of room for them. Okay, so let's start with the shoes. And I will say the shoes are really easy to put on. Um, their toes are kind of pointed upward, like the Barbie doll style. So they're easy to put on, despite the fact that this is all one piece with the sock as well. But really cute, keeps the ruffle design going on. And then her dress has lace on the bottom and then the three different layered um, colors, which is really cute. This piece does come off and is plastic, um, but she has a little bows in back and the bow um, in the middle of the chest. And then this part has the wings where you can also put six different deco pieces as well. And it kind of just fits over her shoulder like a cloak. Um, and I see why it's hard plastic so the wings can, can stand firmly, but it's cute. It's, it's an interesting way of doing that, but I think it does, you know, make it, give it the magical girl look with the, with the wings. <laughs> and then the bow is also adorable. I love the big pink bow. And then it has so many pieces um, going on there. Look at the little teddy bear, a cupcake, a llama, and it just really completes the outfit. So that's another adorable one. And then fashion pack number five is the Butterfly Blooms fashion pack. And look at the happy butterfly. And here she is in her final look. This has such a cool spring summer vibe going on. I absolutely love it. And here is the little purse, which you can make into a keychain for you. It also has a bunch of spots for the deco pieces. That butterfly is adorable. It has little bows hanging from its antenna, which goes with the bow theme. So we have a bow here. And then the third pleat 
the first and third have little bow designs, if you guys can see that, which is a really cute pattern. So four different layers, the lace work on the collar and the sleeves. The shoes have the little bow as well. Here's a closer look at the headband. It is so pretty. All the headbands kind of just complete the outfits and bring it together. Um, I like the yellow, bright yellow there, but I wish there was some yellow on her outfit. But still, it has the cool purple and pink design. And then you have a bunch of spots for the deco pieces, as well as this happy winking flower, which I think is so cute. And overall, just another adorable look with the little happy bag. I love it. And here's G back in her original Alice in Wonderland inspired outfit. Overall, I'm really glad I got around to opening and reviewing the Kuku Harajuku line. At least one doll and the fashion packs that were available. They only had one series, um, but they're really cute. And if you like kawaii style design and fashion, I think they were a great different type of doll out there on the market. So I'm hoping perhaps another company will, will pick up on the cute little kawaii theme um, that these dolls did. But I think the closest thing out there would be the Shoppies dolls, which I absolutely love. Moose Toys does a great job with, with the Shoppies. So that'll do it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. And I wanna thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.